going on YouTube? I uh, thought I'd come back with another review of an album called Every Trick in the Book by Ice Nine Kills. That was sent in. Uh, the suggestion was sent in by that one average Joe on Instagram. Uh, if you want to know what my name is on there, it's home of metalcore, home underscore, whatever you want to call it, of underscore again, and metalcore. So anyways, that's what the name of that is. I actually post all types of means of all rock music and all that, and I do some album reviews. Uh, I did them more so a couple months ago I would do them quite often about one a day because uh, I had a long drive to and from school about average time all together gave me about an hour so I could finish off an album in one day uh, but that's what I did uh, on there but now I'm deciding to take it to YouTube I still post on there and I still take suggestions and all of that on there but anyways this is gonna be a quick review uh, again album is ice the album is every trick in the book by ice on kills uh, this whole album was kind of based around different stories that you hear. Uh, they did some on Alice in Wonderland. Alice, of course. Uh, and they did some on Carrie, which has actually been adapted to a horror film, uh, a long time ago. And then a newer one, um, and different things like that. Uh, the album itself was, I think, a pretty cool thing to do. It's nice seeing things adapted to other forms of media. Like, if you take a book and adapt it to a movie, sometimes the movies are terrible. Granted, they some just are absolutely terrible, and you shouldn't even see them. But then there's also, you get those good ones that you're like, wow, I can really see why this was turned into a movie. Like, uh, if you take comic books, for example, Deadpool, that was one of the better uh, adaptations. And Avengers, I guess, are too. Um, and some other comics and books and things that have been turned into movies are pretty good and they kind of hold up well to the story I think this album did pretty well with that uh, so my top three songs on this album I actually liked a lot of them it was actually kind of hard to pick because I had about five or six and uh, the first one that was my favorite is called communion of the cursed it's I could not find because they have uh, this one actually has a music video I believe it's after the exorcism or the exorcist the movie uh i think that is what it's based off of it may be an actual uh exact book that it's based on but on this one they had an actual music video which gave you the side of the girl who was possessed and how they was trying to get it out of her and the demon that didn't want to be taken out and then like the priest that was telling it to leave uh it's actually a very creepy video uh and it starts off it's like a story in this sense um, kids sick, can't go out for Halloween, and the grandpa comes to visit, and the mom tells them, don't tell them another scary story, because it messed them up last time. Grandpa decides not to listen to that, and does it anyways. Then the music video comes on, and it's actually really cool, uh, and the lyrics to it are very well written, which is what I think really helped this album a whole lot. Uh, the singer and their guitar player also screams, so it's a mixture, uh, singer sings and screams and then you have the guitar player um, they all have very unique voices and styles and it's actually very uh, good in general and I liked it a lot and I actually have a couple acoustic songs which is surprising when you hear it because the singer uh, actually holds up really well sometimes you get singers who scream and can't sing at all and they try and it doesn't work but he actually holds up very well uh, I don't actually know his name but pretty good all together uh my second favorite is testimony which i guess is supposed to be testimony i don't really know it's worded weird and i couldn't even read the name of the book it was after but the author of the book is thomas hardy so yeah there you go the last word i don't even think was in english so if it was let me know down below how to say it and i will know from now on uh and the other one is hell in the hallway which is based off of carrie uh, I think, honestly, uh, Hell in the Hallway was my favorite due to the fact that it took some creative spin on how that movie turned out. Um, spoiler for a six-year-old movie, if you've never seen Carrie, which you should have, the old or the new. Um, girl gets picked on a lot. At the end, she goes crazy. Not really giving too much out there. She goes crazy, and you always just assume that she dies in her going crazy. But in this one... Uh, She's actually a principal or a teacher and scares a kid into being nice again. So again, 
that song really gives a lot to uh, blending well with the movies or the books, either one. I say movies because I've seen all of these movies that they're based off of. Uh, but also they have songs on there of Jekyll and Hyde um, and Frank's Diary. That one was really good. Um, my mom also listens to this music uh, somewhat whenever I just play it in the car. She likes it and listens to it. And I told her that one. And she's like, that's got to be a really dark um, song due to the fact of if you don't know the story of Anne Frank, she was a Jewish girl and trying to be found by the Nazis and would hide and all that. Um, eventually though she did get found so my mom thought that would be a really dark song and she listened to it she liked it but yes it is somewhat dark a lot of these songs are and that kind of comes with Ice Nine and Kills most of their music is a little darker and heavier uh, but it's all around good music uh, but anyways go check out the album also I would give it a 9.5 out of 10 um, that was it's probably my favorite album I've listened to in a long time so yes, definitely go pick it up and buy it, or they have it on YouTube, uh, go check out that, I've actually been listening to it, I've listened to it another three times since this suggestion came in, but uh, anyways, thanks for watching, also leave comments down below of other bands, or CDs, or anything you would want me to do a review of, um, I'm gonna start doing bigger name band reviews, and uh, give you like stats and statistics on those, uh, I have a little notepad, if you didn't see it, kind of holding it up, yeah. That was what was helping me out on this one. I'm going to try and make it better. I got the background somewhat fixed. And then I found out you can still see the corner up there. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for watching. And peace out.